Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know that we are working with library management system. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this dashboard and how to add these images and how the, to change the color of these buttons here. You can see this and how to add the icons here. You can see this. Okay, so I have shown you all these stuff in the previous video. You have not watched my previous video, then just go to description there. You will find the like for the previous video just click on that and watch my previous video okay so in this video i'm going to show you how to design this add new form here you can see this when i click on this add new form this form is open so in this video i'm going to show you how to design this with this okay so let's start with this let me just move to this one that's a login video here we are working with this one okay so first thing what we have to do is we have to add one form so for that you have to just right click on this login video sorry library video and click on this add and after that you have to just click windows form okay after that you have to do is when you click on this pop-up will be there that is this one and after that you have to write one small stuff that is what the name of this form that is add book i have written it you can write as, as per your requirement so add book and hit enter so here the form will be added. So let me just copy the size of this form from this one. Okay, so here we have now right click on this and just let me just copy the size of this one. Okay, so let me just right click and go to properties and there you will find the size. Okay, let me search for the size. Here we have 300, 300 by default. Just change this to 700 comma 467 and hit enter here you can see this after that what we have is here you can see this we have one image panel this one is panel label this is a picture box this is also a picture box and this is a, another panel so how to do that for that let me just add one picture box and panel first so picture box just copy and paste it and this just click on this click choose images local resources click on this uh, here this image I have used motivation one so just click on this okay stretch image and after that you have to just fill like this okay here you can see this after that you have to do one more stuff that is you have to add a few panel let me just drag panel here so here we have this panel we have to set it like this okay let me just copy the size of this panel this one go to the six sixty six seventy five and seventy seven so just go to the bodies just paste it here hit enter decrease its size okay so after that we have to add one more panel here so that we can change the color let me set the color for this panel as well so let me just copy the color code so here we'll find this back color is feet so just copy this one and set here this properties let me just select this back color and after that you have to write feet and hit ok here you can see this the color image is changed the background color is changed after that we need one more form sorry panel so let me just drag it and drop it here you can see this just make it like this you have to make it large Just go to properties and select the color from here. This one is the color code 255 comma 192 comma 128. So we have to paste the back color here. Okay, so here you can see this. The color has been changed. So after that, let me just copy the size of this panel as well. So here you can see this, it's a location actually. So here is the size 419 and 348. 
So I have copied the size. This is location. Change this one. Okay. Let me just decrease the size of this one. So here we have this. Okay. So now it's looking nice actually. Okay, after that, here you can see this, we have this image and we have this level. Okay, so let me just add one picture box. So search for picture box and drag and drop it here. Just place it here, just click on this small triangle, select choose images, local resources and import. I will provide you each image I am using. Here you can see this, add book and click on OK. Just go to description, there I have put the link for the images. Okay, so after that you have to change the size mode to stretch image. And just make it stretch like this. Okay. Like this. And after that we have one level here. So let me just drag level. So in this level we have to write add book so just go to properties and search for text and there you have to write add book hit enter and after that change the font so go to search for font in the properties and click on this okay so it's taking a little bit of time after that you have to search for calibri and prefer calibri so bold and i will use Irene. Okay. okay, and here you can see this now it's looking nice. Okay, so what I want is when I click on this button, okay, so when I want that, when I click on this button, this form needs to be opened. Okay, so first thing what I want is this form needs to be opened in the center. For that, we have to just go to properties, and this, this properties you have to change this windows start position to center screen and now when this form load it will open in the center so we have to connect this form with this button so for click button for this one just double click on this to generate a click event just double click on this generate click event so click event is generated after that we have to write one more thing that is add book okay so add book that is the form name and pbs equals new add book you can write anything as an object name except the keywords okay so abs dot show so let me start this when i click on this here you can see this this is visible and this is looking nice and we have to add few um, text boxes, few labels as well here. We have to do that. So let me just do that. Here we have one small problem that is when I always click on this, new form will be opened and number of form will can be opened. Okay. So if you want to prevent this, here you can see this, we have four form opened. Here you can see this. So if you want to prevent this in your project, so just go and check out my video. That is uh, how to prevent opening form from multiple times this video i have already added in my c sharp tutorial playlist just go and check out there okay so let me just add text boxes and label here you can see this in this we have three three six labels and five text boxes and one date time picker so how to do that for that just go and select label we, um, we need six levels actually so two three just copy and paste it to replicate four five and six level now we have this six six levels okay so we have to change the name as well so for the first one we have to change the name 
what is the name? So we have to change the book name. Let me just cross check. So book name, book author name, book publication, book purchase rate, book price, book quantity. Okay. So just second one. The same way you have to change text. Book author name. to book publication fourth one to book purchase date okay when I click on this change this one to book price after that change this one to book quantity So I have changed the name of these labels and what I want is I want few text boxes, take time picker and few buttons. So we have to add text box for that we have to search text box. Let me just copy and paste. So I have dragged one. Copy and paste. Three. After that we need one date time picker. So let me just drag date time picker here. And we need text boxes. Okay, so this much is enough. So I want to increase the size of this to this much. After that, we need few buttons. Just drag and drop it. I need two, so just copy and paste it. Okay, so let me just change the name of these buttons as well. So just go to properties and let me change the name. Let me see what is the name. Save and cancel. So let me just change this one to save. And this one to cancel okay so now let me just start this and let me just show you quickly so you can see this now it's looking nice but here we can see this this button is not looking nice so how to make it nice let me just show you just click on properties and go and you will find one small stuff that is here you can see this flat style change this one to popped up here you can see this the color has been changed for the same way you have to do for the second one and change this to pop up okay so when you start this Here you can see this when you click on this it will looks like it's being clicked here you can see this so it's looking nice but one small stuff is still remaining that when you enter something it's looking quite small so make it large so text entered in this needs to be large and after that these labels uh, size also needs to be increased so let me just increase that just select this one select this font just increase this one to 12 here you can see this it's quite large so let me just change this one to Calibri okay so I have to increase font a little bit more or bold actually no bold is, doesn't look nice so we have to change this one to 14 okay so we have to do for the rest one too so for that you have to just select all this stuff and just change this one to Calibri and that is 40 and hit OK here you can see this is now looking nice so you have to adjust this 
fall to a nice place or a specific place here you can see this what i want is i want to increase the font of these buttons so select both of this and increase the font as well so i'm going to make it 9 or 10 or a little bit bold okay so here you can see this is looking nice let me just increase the size of these buttons now after that I, what i want is when i enter something in text in this text the size of this also needs to be increased for that just select all the stuff now after that select on this font and increase the size at least to 10 or 11 like this okay and let me just start this and when you click on this you can see this now whatever I write is quite large and it's looking nice the same way when I click on this calendar here you can see this it's looking nice here you can see this okay so that's it for the today's video guys in the next video I'm going to show you how to code for this save and cancel so for the next video just click on that i button upside and you will find the next video and for the previous video just check out my playlist or just go to my description video description there you will find the link for the previous video so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and please share with your friends thanks